Okay, so now we're going to uh, go into the black and white here. Um, so there's basically two ways to do this. In Photoshop, there's a couple different ways. Um, but you basically have two options. Remember, you've got a color image, and then you've got the black and white, which really isn't black and white, but it's a mixture of a number of different shades of gray in between a true white and a true black. So you could go into Hue and Saturation and just kill all the saturation, and then you have your image here. Okay, so that's one option. Um, the other option here is desaturate. Boom, there you go. Now, if you look at this, the image looks a little bit flat. And what I mean by flat is that it lacks some contrast. If we look in here, uh, before our histogram had data all the way to either side. And I'll go back and I'll, I'll show you that really quick. Pull up some levels here. And in re the real Photoshop, you actually do, you can actually have a, a little thing that always has your histogram on there. So maybe we didn't quite have a true black if this looks right, but uh, we looks like we had some whites on the edge. The histogram was more spread out. So as we go back here, we're black and white. Uh, you don't need to follow these directions exactly. I'm just kind of trying to illustrate some things for you. Um, so I'm going to go back into levels here, and I'm going to fix this image and give it a little bit more contrast by just increasing the blacks and the whites and maybe bumping up the mids a little bit. Um, so it looks pretty good right somewhere in there. Uh, so that's one option, okay? The other option would be to use our little handy dandy uh, curves. Uh, one advantage to curves is they do have some presets kind of in here, so I can just do increase contrast. Now that's a little bit much, but hey look, it gives me a little bit of a starting point potentially. Um, so maybe I like that little curve, but not that much. And maybe you see here, I'm, I'm losing too much of my highlights in the background. Uh, but this allows me to kind of change the tones in the face. And uh, kind of just make some little adjustments here and there. Um, and you can also have your histogram there if you'd like. Um, so that gives me some options really, really fast as well. So before, after, before, after. Now we did lose some kind of detail in there. So uh, like I said, curves is an option. I'm going to go back to levels just because I'm kind of more of a levels kind of guy. I, uh, I really like being able to use the histogram and being able to just dial things in with the histogram. I also feel like I lost too much of this detail in here. Um, so I'm going to bump that up just a little bit and click OK. And then I'm going to need to dodge again. So I'm going to go to my mid-tones. Actually, I'm going to dodge my highlights in this particular case. Now I need a bigger brush. And I believe I looked at the presets here. There are some presets where you can, or not presets, but shortcuts. Um, you can also just go in and adjust your brush size here. Uh, if you look at the handouts, there are ways to do that um, without having to actually go all the way in. And I definitely want a softer brush, so I'm going to soften that up. Change my diameter. I'm going to be working on the face here. Um, the other thing you might want to do is um, zoom in. So uh, we didn't really cover that, but there's a percentage down here, and I'm pretty sure under view we can, uh, can zoom in. So it looks like that's Control plus plus. So maybe that's on the Mac. Doesn't want to work right now. Um, but uh, you can look at it at 100%. Uh, and let's go back to our dodge tool and okay that's too much undo uh, let's go back to maybe 20 percent and in Photoshop you're gonna want even less uh, typically you know, that's still a little bit much uh, maybe in this particular case I do want 10 percent it's always better to just be able to add a little bit more at a time and if I was doing this correctly I would also have another layer uh, just for this. Um, in fact, I will show you that and I'll show you why. So say we duplicate this layer right here, our levels. So we've got our black and white, we've got it the way we want. Now if I only adjust the levels here, watch what I can do. So say I say I lighten this a bit. Okay, maybe I want some more contrast in her hair, so maybe I'm going to go in now and, and burn the shadows at maybe 10 percent. Let's see what happens there. Uh, let's see, I might need to adjust my brush again too. Let's 
So we're basically creating some individualized local contrast here. Um, just kind of checking something there for a second. See, that's the burning of the shadows. Let me, uh, let me go in and dodge some midtones as well. Midtones are kind of those gray areas. And then the other thing I could do is if I wanted this to kind of go more into the background, I could basically just make kind of the edges of the frame a little bit darker. And this here, it almost kind of blends in. So definitely, you can make this a little bit darker in these areas. And I still feel like this needs to be lighter. There we go. That looks a little bit better to me. All right, so if we do a before and after, I can see that. Um, I can see maybe it's a little bit too much right in there. Um, so I could go back in, get a smaller brush, and burn that in. You can see this takes a lot of trial and error and just patience. Uh, and the size of brush you need is going to depend on how many pixels your actual image has as well. Um, so I'm going to burn, let me burn more of the highlights. There we go. See how those came right back? It might actually be a little bit much on that last one. Anyway, you get the idea. The cool thing is, is that um, we can actually toggle the uh, settings here. And uh, there we go, opacity. So I can change the opacity of this level's copy, which is really should be called um, dodge and burn. So watch and see if this works correctly. Oh, no, I'm changing the other one here. You've got to be on the right layer. You see how I can, basically, I made those changes, but I can choose how strong I actually want to apply those kind of changes. Um, and so that's a really, really powerful uh, part of Photoshop. And there are other ways to do this, dodge and burn. Uh, you can create a uh, layer mask uh, here, and we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm trying to keep things a little bit basic, but I just want you to know that you can tweak individual parts of the image. And what I'm hoping is you just tweak a little bit of the image and make it a little bit better. Bring your eye a little bit more towards the center person, center of a, the, the main subject, uh, the center of attention. So um, from here, you're going to go and you're going to save this. And then you're going to change this from edit to BW. Okay? And we're going to put that right in that Pixlr project folder. Okay. And we're saving this right to our Flickr account. Image saved. So uh, at this point, you would basically go and uh, copy your um, the URL for your Flickr set. Uh, you would uh, then paste that into a Word document. You'd tell me a little bit about what you did and why you like why you think that the image is better uh, now. Um, and why you did it, more, more importantly. And uh, then you're going to submit that uh, onto Blackboard. And then you are done. Yeah, you, you, uh, you passed. If you've done all these things, um, if you're having trouble, let me know. Ask somebody else. Um, but uh, the main thing I'm looking for in this assignment is, did you make the image a little bit better? Did you make it black and white? And uh, in this particular case, um, you guys should be adjusting the image size, I believe it says, to 1,200 pixels. So your image size here is actually going to be 1,200 pixels. Um, and that's just basically, I want to make sure that you did adjust that. There is a whole lot more to this, and typically you don't want to go from 800 to 1,600. You want to go from a higher size to a lower size. So hopefully you're starting out, you're starting out with a higher uh, resolution image. But um, good luck with this. I will see you on Tuesday.